guys were getting your hands on passes, you in particular. Kind of what was working well? Oh, just getting pressure on the quarterback and uh, coming off the ball. It was working real good. Why did you guys come into this game so confident and so successful for, 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 for a long stretch of it? Our, our scout team gave us a great look during the week. And, it just helped I transfer it over to the game. What do you feel happened when Michigan State really kind of started getting its offense going? Um, I think we still did good, you know what I'm saying? Kept our composure and stuff. Just uh, a couple things slipped probably, so we just got to work on that during the week. Um, a couple of guys were talking about, you know, there's no moral victories, but there were clear signs of improvement. Do you feel that? And if so, in what areas? I feel like there's an improvement in the team play overall. And, um... Everybody's doing their assignment, coming together. Also, the fans helped out a lot as well. Do you feel like you guys wore down at all in the second half when it got late? No, I feel like we kept playing. But just, like I said, a couple things probably slipped that we got to work on in the week. Can you talk about some of the differences in preparing for a Northwestern and a Michigan State, two pretty different styles of offense? Yeah, it was, uh, a, lot, it was a lot different. Like, uh, with Northwestern, they had a quarterback who was real mobile. And with this team, they just play basic and stay with, it, stay with what they do. So I feel like it was better. You guys read your hands on some passes at the line, you in particular. What was happening? Why, why was that working well? I mean, just coming off the ball, and then when you see the quarterback was about to throw it, I mean, it looked like it was a low ball. So I was always taught by a coach just to put your hands up. Good things are happening. So. Yeah, uh-huh.